Welcome to the Change Life Destiny Show, where we highlight the latest and greatest technologies that can help you restore health, prevent disease, and promote wellness. I have the honor and privilege of being here today with Dr. Alfred Johnson of Johnson Medical Associates. Thank you for being here, Dr. Johnson. It's my privilege. Oh, it's great to see you. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and sort of this journey that you've come on to really being promoting wellness in your clinic and your practice. I'm an osteopathic physician, uh, internal medicine trained, and I treat chronic disease. Uh, my background's in environmental medicine on how the environment uh, affects the individual adversely causing health problems. So we look at how pollens, dust, molds, uh, chemicals in your food, individual foods, or chemicals in your environment may affect you, and that includes uh, toxic mold, uh, which we're seeing more and more since we have damp indoor environments. Houses are being put up rapidly without drying out. Mold grows, uh, and as they enclose the houses, then the mold toxins actually are retained inside and you breathe those in and your body retains those and causes illness. That's so incredibly important. I think so many people don't realize sometimes maybe they're sick and the, the cause could be something like what you're talking about. So how do you actually help people do that? What technologies do you use? What, what do you have in your practice? Well, first you have to take a good history and find out when people are become uh, sick or when they start to have problems and then look at their symptoms and look at what organ systems are affected. So I look at the whole body, mm. get a complete history, and then do appropriate tests. We can measure for allergies, we can measure for toxins, we can measure for autoimmune diseases, uh, hypersensitivity. So it, you have to look at the whole person, and in doing so then you can come up with a organized treatment plan that is effective mm. for health. That's amazing. And so what could be some of the treatment plans that you put people on in your clinic? Well, if you're exposed to something that is adverse to the body, then avoidance is the first thing, but you sure. got to define that. So one of the things I'll be talking about at the conference is how you look for mold and other contaminants in your home, mm -hmm. and then what we do about it. And what we do about it is avoidance and then treat whatever the condition is, build up your immune system, mm -hmm. uh, and build up immune tolerance to whatever you may be allergic to, uh, define the toxic products, and then look at healing the tissues that they have affected and getting the toxins out. And we do that with our hyperbaric center, mm -hmm. with hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which speeds up the mitochondria, and heals the damaged tissue. That's incredible. It sounds like a really comprehensive, holistic solution to someone who may have a symptom, but they, you know, it's really this underlying chronic thing, and it needs all these different modalities to really help someone get better. Exactly. Many of the patients I see have seen, you know, five, ten different doctors. They can't figure out what's wrong with them. Yeah. And a lot of times, the history will really point you in the right direction if you know what you're looking at from the cause and effect relationship. Absolutely. And I know one of the things you're also going to be talking about at the conference is long haul COVID and people who are experiencing long haul COVID. Could you speak a little bit to that? Yes. Uh, as we know, and as we've seen and we read in the, the literature and we see in the news, there's those people that have persistent symptoms after COVID infection. Mm -hmm. Typically they classify it as three months. If you have symptoms for longer than three months, you fall in that long haul COVID. Well, what do you do for these people? How do you help them? Uh, again, medications may help alleviate some symptoms, but they aren't healing the body. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we see is that the COVID infection actually stimulates the immune system and these people become hyper reactive. So they start reacting to foods. They start having uh, rashes. Uh, they feel fatigue because their mitochondria has been affected. Uh, they have shortness of breath a lot of times. Uh, nervous system's upset. So we have different techniques we look at and evaluate it. We do QEEGs in our mm. office with looks at brain waves and whether the brain's been affected from the inflammatory process. And then we can monitor progress with that doing QEEGs before and after hyperbaric. 
Wow. So that through a series of hyperbaric treatments, we see the brain healing, and you can actually document that and show the patient, yes, your brain is healing. Wow. So again, it's just like I may be having this symptom, but when I come to you, I'm going to find out, look under the hood of the car, right? And go to the root. Exactly. We look at the whole sequence and then what's the underlying uh, problem and then look at how to effectively fix that. That's amazing. Help your body heal. Dr. Johnson, I am beyond excited for you to be at the Changing Life and Destiny Conference. And I am really excited for people to have access to this kind of information because we don't, right? It's hard to find people like you who are really treating the whole person. And I'm really thankful for you. And I want to um, let people know that if you want to meet someone like Dr. Johnson, if you want to learn more about what he's doing, if you want to be part of his movement and really getting to the root cause of issues, you're going to want to go to www.changelifedestiny.com to learn more about any upcoming events we have and be able to change your life and change your destiny. Dr. Johnson, thank you again for being here and for sharing this incredibly important information. I'm excited about the conference. Thank you for having me.